I uh, was gonna hold off doing this. My cat's like running up. Come here, baby. Come here, I love you. Hi. I was gonna hold off doing this because um, <clears throat> I have another package coming. And I was planning on going to the shop tomorrow to pick up my books, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. There's a, there's a estate sale um, the next town over, and I'm heading there in the morning because they have some comics. So, that could be cool. I don't know. I might do another video tomorrow, maybe, or hold off until I get my package. Because I'm doing a trade with uh, our good buddy Scott X1307. But a couple days ago, I went on eBay, <clears throat> and um, I've been eyeing some stuff on mycomicshop.com. I have a bunch of stuff in my cart, but I've been comparing prices between like what I found at the store and my comic shop. You know, I've been my New Year resolution for my comic collecting was to stick to my list. So I'm trying to be physically responsible and uh, find the best deal before I pull the trigger on a bunch of stuff. But these books I couldn't find anywhere, and one of them, mycomicshop.com, doesn't even have at the moment. And uh, for some reason, this book has gotten stupid hot. <clears throat> and it's a series that I'm collecting and, like, super excited to read. So I went online on eBay just to look, you know. I, I wasn't really optimistic about finding anything. Um, but I found some. And the price was great. I could not pass up on the price. I paid... Uh, one of them was $4.00. The rest of them were three, and uh, shipping was free. So let's see. I spent a little bit less than twenty. No, wait. Yeah, I paid three fifty for shipping. So shipping wasn't free, but still, the uh, the deal I got on one of these issues was just it was it justified that expense. I mean, like I said. I paid, uh, let's see, I got an invoice right here. Yeah, I paid $4 for issue one, and the rest of them were either $2 or $1.30. <clears throat> so, without further ado, let me get these organized real quick. The, the seller said they were all near mint, and thus far they look great. Great, great, great. Right on, right on, right on. What I picked up off of eBay. Stupid cheap. Really not that big a deal. To paraphrase my good buddy, Francis McMiniman. I got Animal Man number one. <sighs> Excuse me, not the New 52 stuff. Nothing against the New 52 stuff, but I'm currently collecting the Vertigo Animal Man stuff. And the issues that I have read thus far of Animal Man particularly Grant Morrison's stuff, have been amazing. Like, mind-blowingly good. And I'm a fan of his, like, not quote-unquote superhero stuff. I have all the Incredible, or the Invincibles, and his Doom Patrol stuff, which is also amazing. But his Animal Man stuff has completely blown me away. This is issue two. Issue three. Issue four, five, <clears throat> excuse me, six, and I, the seller also had a bunch of other stuff, so I just dug through since it was, uh, what was it, what did I say, 350? Yeah, 350 shipping, and then for the first book, the rest of them were free. Excuse me. I picked up uh, Omega Man. Annual number two. So, cool beans. Um, I also did a video, or I recorded a video for, uh, excuse me, Cloud of Journeys one subscriber contest. I might redo that. And I found some stuff because I was organizing my books that I'm going to add to my contest. So, in addition to the books I've already shown and, uh, the stained glass Cyclops. Wow, sorry. 
we just came back from dinner. I had fish and chips, and this is not sitting right. Oh, and I also had this huge Long Island iced tea. I will also be adding to the books and to the stained glass piece. Uh, this is DMZ number 14. This is uh, the first appearance of, or the first scalped in a book. This is the preview issue with scalped. And this wicked cool, totally awesome action hero or action uh, figure variant for spread number one signed by, signed by my buddy uh, Kyle Strom, the artist on this book. So yeah, um, my contest is still going. You got weeks and weeks, so don't worry about it. I'm going to run it to the 1st of February. Um, I'd like to thank everybody that's entered thus far. Uh, I kind of have mixed opinions about doing it like that. It, it kind of seems a little self-indulgent, but I did enjoy everybody's entry. I think Hallermouse set the bar pretty high. Not that everybody else's videos sucked. It's just that he was very poignant in his opinions. But I did thoroughly enjoy all the entries thus far. And hopefully I get a couple more. Because, you know, it's cool to know that you guys care. I know you guys care. It's no big deal. If I could give something to all of my subscribers, I totally would. But shipping on that would kill me. Because I got friends everywhere. But yeah, just wanted to show off my books. Um, you guys will probably see me again in a couple days because uh, I have tomorrow off. I was supposed to work, but they, we caught up at work. I'm caught up at work, but I'm not caught up anywhere else. I got laundry. I got dishes. I got like housework. I got to change a ceiling fan. Whew, lots of stuff. But anyway, I'm behind on my books. I've been to the shop. I'm behind on everything, but I, I'm caught up at work. So uh, yeah, high five for me. I'm going to go read these. You guys have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye.